it's like being coached by, by Chris Slade, a, a former All-American, a former Pro Bowler. Uh, does that carry some credibility when you look at Look at his resume. Oh, most certainly it does. Uh, you know, Coach Slade is a—he's old, I, you know, old head. But you know, he's—he's he's been in the league for for quite some time. So his resume, especially when he was in college, and even in the league, says a lot. You know, and so he still is get, um, he's giving the group a lot of uh, nut, little nuggets of knowledge and allowing us to keep on uh, progressing to get better every single day. Especially with Coach Peace at his side, who also has a good resume from being at here at UVA alum and then being in the league himself, you know, so both of them, it's, a, it's best of both worlds. You're far too young to remember Chris's playing career, but do you go back and, and look at any video and stuff? Uh, I haven't gone back. I don't know if it's going to be all, you know, black and white, but uh, <laughs> I'm going I'm to I'm see what, it's, I'm gonna see what Peace, Peace can pull up. Hey, Chico, Greg Medea from the Daily Progress. Good, good to see you. Likewise. Uh, I, I guess I'll ask you, how many, how many guys deep are you there at, at defensive end, outside linebacker, the spot you're playing? Uh, it seems like you've got quite a few uh, edge-type players. Yeah, no, I mean, we got, um, in terms of, like, ends and bandits, we've got, like, three deep for each position. Um, I want to say even four. And then, you know, in the fall, we've got some um, big-time transfers coming in and um, older guys. So it'll be great. It's going to be great in the, um, in the edge room. And so I look forward to working with them. We're all going to be able to push each other in the fall to compete for the um, for uh, the season coming up. I was going to say, what's the, what's the competition like, like now? Uh, with, with those guys, who, who else in your position has impressed you? Oh, I would say most certainly um, Ben Smiley, uh, Mike Green, um, Deshaun Perry, you know, um, I forgot uh, Jack Camp. I mean, he's not able to, to um, play right now, but um, we got other guys like Brandon Sheffer, uh, Nate Morris. And so, you know, those guys, you know, they're, I mean, they haven't, don't have as much experience, but they continue to get better um, each and every day. Um, you know, Coach Slade talks about us, um, pressing upon us, you know, working on um, the small things and day by day and trying to attack one thing by, um, attack, attack it by one um, into where we can, you know, get better as a whole. And so, because we, we continue to, um, to get right. Morning, Chico. This is Mike Barber from Richmond. Um, I'm curious. Coach uh, Downing was on earlier this week and Jameer Carter, and they talked about cross-training in, in their group a lot uh, for different styles, different techniques. Have you been exclusively a stand-up rusher? Are you playing with your, your hand down? What kind of stuff are you working on? So I'm, a, um, I'm able to work both um, due to my, uh, for the versatility. Um, but, you know, with the, uh, when I do have my hand in the dirt, um, Coach Slade and Coach Downing um, will, uh, will critique me. Um, and allow me, you know, to progress in terms of um, being able to work with a better three-point. <laughs> no, you good. I understand. Hey, Chico, this is Nathan Waters with the Daily Press. Um, going back to Coach Slade, does he wax nostalgic about the good old days? Does he tell y'all any stories about the way things were at UVA, especially on the defensive side? And if so, what kind of things does he share with you? Um, I would say the only things he would say, you know, he would be like, you know, back in my time, you know, this is this is this is what I see. Um, and so, you know, whenever he says that, it's like, I mean, he's been there, you know, so he doesn't stay. He doesn't say anything just just, you know, for giggles. So, um, you know, whatever he says, I, I take with seriousness um, as well as peace, you know. But, you know, just to stick with um, Coach Slade's standpoint, he um, he doesn't he doesn't talk about, you know, what he did himself, but he just talks about, you know, um, you know, in terms of how things were back in the day, he'll tell you, you know, what he, what he's, what, like, what to expect, and it truthfully, it does translate over into today's time. I just made him sound old, but yeah. Hey, Chico, I think I've got my dogs under control, so I, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Um, tell me a little bit more about um, the scheme in terms of what you guys are doing. It sounds like from the defensive backs, there's been a lot of three-three-five. Um, what kind of schemes are you using? Is it very multiple? Um, and what have you been mostly in? Uh, so right now we got we're in a four down front, um, but we got two guys, uh, the two edge rushers, who since the coach Rudd allows us to just uh, wreak havoc, honestly, and so that's what's and it's he made he simple he um, it's simple, you know, so it's not too complicated. He just allows us to play within within the scheme of the defense, um, whether we whether we're stand up or um, in three point and just um, create havoc inside and inside of the scheme of the defense.
and different teams want different things from their edge guys. Do you get the feeling that this is about you uh, getting behind the line of scrimmage, getting after the quarterback or, or tackles for loss? Is that kind of an aggressive approach? Most certainly. Most certainly. You know, I think one of the things he presses upon is his violence. Uh, that's, one of the, that's one of the first things. He, he came out with that type of energy when we first met him um, with the, the transition of the staff. And so he, um, he, he's made that one of his, one of his core, core values. And so that's what we um, carry on into, onto the field. As a Thank defense. Hey, Chico, Damon Dillon from Cats Corner. I was just wondering how you're feeling. I'm feeling good. Um, you know, it feels good to be back, especially you know from a from this from this injury. Um, you know, rusty, but um, you know it's a day by day thing. Try to uh, try not to work on um, getting so you know worked up. You know, with uh, not having everything right away. And so um, just building blocks. And so, you know, with the help of Coach Slade and Peace, and as well as the rest of the defensive staff, you know, as a, as a unit, you know, we uh, be able to progress better as a whole. At what point did you start to feel like, all right, I'm back? Or did it require maybe getting back out on the practice field and getting back to work? Um, I would say, I would say, you know, I would say kind of like in the workouts. Um, it started in the workouts because, you know, with uh, some of the Wahoo drills that they had us do, um, I was just kind of feeling my knee, knee throughout that. And then so that gave me confidence. Um, and then as we progress into the spring, um, spring ball, just being able to get my feet back on the grass, it, um, it helped out. It helped out a lot. So uh, my confidence is, is um, continuing to stack every, each and every day along with the other guys. You know, we're in the room competing against each other. And so that helps on top of it. So, yes, sir. Thank you. Chico, you mentioned the little things that Coach Slade stresses. Can you can you give me some examples? Uh, yeah, so I said like the other day, um, as me with Greg, he's you know, so Slade always pressed upon, you know, working half a man. Um, never want to, you know, uh, hit right down the middle because you know nobody likes going against a 300 pound guy. So um, always work half a man um, and just make sure to uh, work on your hands extension. And because you know, use our length to our advantage, and then really after that, it's that's those really the two core things, and then everything else will play itself. Chico Preston with CBS 19. Hey again, uh, just wanted to ask you've got a lot of guys in that room, a lot of athleticism, but a lot of inexperience in that room, too. How has it been kind of seeing you know, Co Coach Slay and Coach Peace kind of work with you all this spring? Um, I think they've done a good job. Um, you know, I think that they, they understand that. Um, and it's not that, they, you know, they try to baby us, but they still critique us like, you know, like we like everybody's experienced. And so um, I think that's what's helped um, allowed everybody to get that confidence. Um, and like I said, like day by day, just keep on working. And so that's what it all boils down to.